The coming food shortages are going to affect everyone. said corner today I just want to talk a little bit about the coming food shortages we have seen that quite a share over the last few years of missing items here and there but it is a start about to start to get pretty serious I think we are really our time is getting slim the window of opportunity is smaller and smaller there are more and more reports of problems all over the place if you just look there are tons of articles on different things that are affecting the food crisis globally it is everywhere the prices are just rampant and crazy and every time I go to the store prices get higher and higher and I had to stop in to grab bread at Walmart today I'm gonna buy bread as long as I can <laughs> as long as I can afford it I'll buy it from the store because I really don't like to make bread I can but I don't like it so I ran in anyway and I just the first thing I noticed was almost all of the cheaper items are really there was hardly any of them the cheaper snacks and chips and things like that that stuff is probably the cheapest thing in the store but they were almost wiped out the more expensive stuff all the stuff on the top shelf seemed to be just fine people cannot afford these high high prices so they are opting for the cheaper brands i noticed the cheaper coffee was completely wiped out which made my heart flutter because i am a big coffee fan and i usually buy that coffee the maxwell house is pretty inexpensive still for what the prices are it has gone up but not gigantically so it's still fairly inexpensive and that was wiped right out there was none not one can of it and there were a lot of things that, that there were only one or two on the shelf a lot of those cheaper items the great value stuff was really depleted in a lot of sections we are going to start seeing more of this in the near future it's going to get worse and worse just a few days ago the state of utah declared a state of emergency over smithfield food processing which they're the largest processor of pork in the country and they are going to be shutting down and downsizing they're going to shut down one plant as far as i could see in the article i will link all the articles i mentioned in the description box so you can check them out for yourself but they have they're going to be downsizing and closing a plant i believe in california which is going to mean less pork higher prices for what you can find um it's you know i know not everybody buys that brand but it will affect the other brands because they will be less available um another thing that i saw that could be quite devastating is teamsters which is like a truckers union they are having all kinds of trouble with violations and whatever with these companies and um, due to unfair labor practices, there's a good possibility they're going to stop working. If these trucks stop, these are the truckers that bring foods to the food service industry and stuff like that. It, all along the East Coast, it could be a huge, huge problem. Hopefully they can resolve that quickly. And I guess they've been at it for a while and it's just, they're coming to an end they're not going to deal with it and they can't be blamed it's just not right another thing that i saw was global with all the global food prices soaring we are all seeing that it is everywhere it's across the board some places are worse than others but it is definitely a global problem because a lot of countries have shut down and are not exporting some of their products we've seen wheat in some countries sunflower oil numerous products all around and now there is a big concern that it, rice may be next on the list if the price of rice starts rising rapidly that's really going to be a huge problem because that is a staple 
for many, many people. And I know we use quite a lot of rice to stretch meals. So making sure you have a hot, really good supply, because once you start dipping into it, if you got to dip into that food storage, I'm telling you, it starts to go faster than you think. It may look like you have this tons and tons of food, but you'd be surprised how fast it goes. And I when am you definitely dipping. not hearing much about the drought that is going on. And it's that's another global issue. There are some sections that are really getting rained on hard. They are saturated and that's a problem for crops as well. But 40.1% of the United States is currently in a drought. That's 171 million acres of crops. And that is a huge amount. These droughts are definitely can slow down growth, stop growth, they can kill the plants. We can, we're really gonna feel the crunch from this. It start, it gets worse and worse, it appears to every year. And I mean, the drought's been going on for a long time. It's not anything new, but it just keeps compiling over and over. And a lot of farmers are struggling with the cost of diesel, the cost of grain for animals. Everything is just compiling and making it more difficult. And it's just adding to the issue. So I think in the next couple of months, we are really going to see lots more issues than we're currently seeing. And I know we have been talking about food shortages for a very long time, and we've seen spottiness of stuff, but I think we're going to start seeing a little bit more. And in conjunction with that, the less that's available, the more it's going to cost. So unfortunately, that is the way it goes, and we need to be absolutely prepared for this. I would double check your rice while it's still cheap. Double check your stores. How much do you have? How far can you go? Uh, you know, we need a few hundred pounds of grains per person per year. And not just rice, but wheat, pasta, rice, quinoa, whatever kind of grains you like. We need a lot of them. And, you know, if you can fit one more pack of rice or or 10 more bags of rice, I would definitely, now is the time. Rice is still pretty close to pre pre blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Rice is still pretty close to pre-pandemic prices. Boy, that was hard to get out. <laughs> um, but uh, I noticed that it's still, I'm still seeing like the Rico rice and the Walmart 20 pound bags of rice for $8.98. And I even saw if you have a BJ's membership, I saw 50 pound bags of rice on there for like $21.99. And then it's $8.99 for the flat rate shipping, but you can add other things to your order if you want to add more um, to make that shipping worth it. You know, I hate paying shipping, but you get what you can. And we got to all get through this. So I think it's really important get on those grains before they go any higher and make sure you have them and extra lots extra I would say and because these prices are just going to continue to get worse and worse it's not it's not coming down anytime soon so stock up be prepared I am hearing people are starting to lose their power randomly. I don't know if this is part of the rolling blackouts, but it could be. It's time. We don't have time to waste. Stay busy. Keep at the gardens. The garden is going to pay off in the long run. It's a lot of work, but it pays off in the long run. It really does. And that is it for today. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up subscribe. I'll see you in the next video. Bye!